And then we can see here he's in the uh, blue AW8 uh, collared shirt, filling it out like no other, looking like a yoked <laughs> golf course attendee on trend. What's up guys, Derek, moreplaysmoreleads.com. Today we are going to be talking about Fernando Torres. This is a very famous and recently retired football player. So he is, um, and now obviously I'm referring to, you know, for Americans, we're talking about soccer here, as you guys know it, but everyone uh, gets, uh, people get annoyed if you do not, do not refer to it correctly. So a football player, and um, he retired in June, 2019. and. Since then, he's made a pretty substantial transformation in his body compositions. So expectedly, you know, rumors have been swirling around the internet about uh, Ms. Fernando uh, Sausen is the guy on the Sazul now. So if you look at his Instagram, you can see a bunch of like throwbacks and shit. And um, I actually accidentally thought this guy was Sean Stafford at one point, the uh, fitness guy. Some of the pictures, <laughs> he looks like pretty fucking similar. Um, but, and like, I think some of the articles are like mistakenly putting in like Sean Stafford images as like afters for the body transformation and showing like the shredded men's physique fucking sauce fiend. But in reality, obviously Fernando is not that jacked, but he's, uh, he's pretty fucking jacked now. So anyways, we're going to go through some of the articles that uh, outline his um, transformation. So this one is uh, the Daily Star. Liverpool hero Fernando Torres shocks fans with post-retirement body transformation. Um, football fans have been left stunned by Torres' new, brand new look. The former Premier League striker was known for his pace during his playing days due to his slim figure. But new photographs, photographs have emerged showing Torres has been using his post-retirement time to bulk up. Advertising an AW8 shirt in the pictures, the Spaniard stood with his arms crossed showing off his bulging biceps and wide shoulders. And football fans flocked to social media to discuss Torres and his transformation since retiring 18 months ago following a spell in Japan. Looks like Fernando Torres has been using this his time post-retirement to get swole, one wrote. So here he is with the uh, blue steel fucking smirk going here and he's got his arms pressed against. Uh, this is almost like the equivalent pose of like a guy who's using the... Uh, what are those things called? The uh, like arm blasters where you like press your arms against it and it makes it look twice as big as they are. This is like the equivalent pose of that basically. But obviously, obviously he's not, he's not small. He's just, you know, he's bigger than what he was. And this is a pretty substantial tran substantial transformation. But in the fitness industry, of course, everyone's going to look at this and be like, what the fuck? This guy looks pinner still. But no, like this, this is a very, <laughs> this is a very good muscular physique for an athlete who used to be a football player who was much skinnier. Fernando Torres out here looking big, said another. OMO, -O. says OMG. It's like Fernando Torres is getting younger and younger since he retired, said a third. Fernando Torres has beefed up a bit since retiring. Seems like he has reached his Boris needs to open the gyms phase. <laughs> what the fuck? And then we can see here he's in the uh, blue AW8 uh, collared shirt, filling it out like no other looking like a yoked <laughs> golf course attendee on trend. That's what this guy looks like right now. It reminds me of when I used to be a, uh, when I used to walk around in my uh, golf course uh, company shirt and I was like 240, 250 pounds and I was like the range attendant and I would like help clean up the course and shit. This is what I walked around just like trying to fill out the fucking, uh, a shirt that's not really meant to be <laughs> filled out like this essentially. Um, Torres has been hitting the gym since retiring 18 months ago, hung up the boots and is now coaching at his beloved Atletico Madrid, taking charge of the B team. The striker is known in England for his exploits with both Liverpool and Chelsea. Torres admits he looks back on his time at Liverpool with much happier memories, waxing lyrical about the club's family structure. Liverpool is the peak of my career. Arrived in a new city, didn't speak English. The 36 year old, six year old told talk sport. Um, so anyways, this is an image of what he looked like when he was playing. So obviously a pretty fucking big difference. Look at these guns and then look at these guns, you know, pretty night and day. Here he is. Uh, what's this fucking guy's name? Gerard, I believe. And, uh, looking much, uh, slimmer for sure. Um, the relationship with fans and players was similar to Atletico Madrid. The players and supporters were really close and this is what I needed. All right. So nothing else about his, uh, physique. Evidently. Now, this article, apparently, 
he has linked with WWE Royal Rumble appearance after, or he's linked with it after he has an incredible body transformation. So this was in uh, the end of January. Liverpool Ace put his El Nino nickname to shame by bulking up after hanging up his boots. So here we go. Showing off his new ripped physique, even though we can't actually see him shirtless to see he's ripped, but he is much uh, beefier for sure. Again, here he is filling out the uh, golf course shirt. So anyways, going down, El Nino looks like he's ready for the Royal Rumble. Fernando Torres getting in shape for January 31st. The world only took notice after announcing a sponsorship partnership. Sponsorship partnership. Wow, that's a combo. With a Southeast Asian casino website. Torres also just unveiled at... Okay, yeah, I already read that. It's unlikely he'll take up a potential offer from the WWE. After BT Sport Twitter saw the pic of Torres muscle bulging, muscles, <laughs> muscles bulging, they wrote, El Nino looks like he's ready for the Royal Rumble. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's the same fucking pics again. And uh, I guess they're showing some other celebrities from the sports world that have made appearances in WWE, Tyson Fury, Wayne Rooney. Um, so it doesn't sound like that's what he's going to do. It's kind of just a joke thing. On Twitter, uh, this account, at goal, we need to talk about Torres muscles. <laughs> Um, I'm sure some of these are, uh, surprised there's actually nothing about gear yet. Captain America shit going on here. Dem Gain, son. He does not look right, LMAO. Crying laughing face. His head looks tiny for his body now. Haha, <laughs> crying laughing face. The guy looks like Captain America. Panting laughing. Okay, so obviously, uh, you know, nearly unrecognizable body transformation. Like, he looks like him, but I mean, like, he looks like he's packed on, like, 30 pounds. At least since the, uh, you know, previous competition photos I found of him uh, actually playing his actual sport. So anyways, this was a good compilation that I thought we could reference as a actual, like, chronological order of his physique. Kind of give an assessment on if this guy is indeed natty or not. This was posted by, um, I say, I'm, I don't know how to say this shit, dude. Sorry. But anyways, this guy's account. So thank you to I Sam Kinney for compiling this. It is Fernando Torres' amazing body transformation. And the transformation was posted uh, a few weeks ago. So pretty new here. Gonna keep it muted for the uh, copyright shit. This is the guy's account, uh, I Sam whatever. That was Fernando Torres in 2010. And this is him um, just standing in the water looking like a, uh, I don't know, a primed uh, footballer, <laughs> I guess. I don't know how else to describe the physique. Like he's lean. Doesn't have a lot of muscle on him. Here he is, uh, just scored a goal. Here's some, you know, compilation of his um, feats in the sport in 2010. And uh, this guy's got uh, excellent hair. One thing that I didn't notice. In 2011, he moved to, uh, what was that, Chelsea. And here he is looking, again, quite a bit different than he does now, despite the fact that he is 10 years younger and obviously has, you know, a much better ability to pack on muscle at this point. You know, not significant, but enough that it would make a decent difference like your prime years are going to be in your 20s for packing on mass 2012 here he is visible abs same arm size same everything he's not really making a substantial difference whatsoever in fact if anything he's a bit softer in 2013 than he was in 2012 11 10 certainly not making drastic changes like you've seen in the most recent uh, bulked up saucy golf picks so here he is in milan 2014 perfect hair of course here he is uh Scoring a goal in unbelievable fashion. Even better hair, potentially, at this point, even though he has uh, frosted tips. Um, here is 2016. We're getting closer to the end of his career at this point. Takes off the, uh, peels off the fucking tarp here. And uh, as you can see, not much different, you know? Like, what, how, maybe, actually, he's a bit bigger here. It looks, uh, he's almost like a mix of, uh, he's like a polymerization of Chris Evans and Sean Stafford from uh, like the fitness industry. <laughs> this guy is literally a spitting image of a polymerization of Sean Stafford and uh, Chris Evans from Captain America. That's fucking crazy. So anyways, here he is, 2016 still, looking lean and mean. A little bit bigger, honestly, but not that substantial, substantially different than in his uh, earlier years either. Moving forward to the end of his career, we're still in, uh, ooh, fucking slice, dude. So anyways. Getting a lot leaner, 2018, getting closer to the end of his career, doing a photo shoot here, it seems. Some uh, fight club shit going on. But yeah, obviously much skinnier than he is now. Like, this is still like 25 pounds less than he looks now. At, you know, about that, 20, 25 pounds. Like, he's putting a, a shit ton of size since here. Like, he's a lot more bony looking than you see in the uh, 2021 uh, 
range attendant shots. So <laughs> here he is and he's like, oh, okay, maybe like 15 pounds of lean mass. Here he's in the gym giving the old thumbs up. It's like the, uh, the classic bodybuilder sign off, just like put your fucking arm up and like give you old, give you old thumbs up. Um, where's the original pick where he looks like, uh, filling out the sleeves. Yeah. So now he's here, which is at least 15, 20 pounds more lean mass than I've seen in, uh, the more recent shots where he was still, uh, I don't know if this is post retirement or not, but obviously it's close enough that you might as well consider him like in athletic condition still from football. So anyways, retires around here, ends up blowing up to look like this within a year and a half or whatever it is. And now there's all the speculation about if he's saucy or not. And honestly, dude, I think it is pretty reasonable to expect he's probably on just like basic TRT. The guy's getting into his late thirties. All of a sudden he's packing on a kind of like an unexplainable amount of mass. Like maybe it's not unexplainable because maybe you would restrict yourself from trying to gain size when you are a football star who needs to be as quick on the field as possible. And the more muscle you pack on doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be better performing rather it might actually hinder you because you're going to be dragging more size along getting gassed out quicker so you know you could certainly speculate that during the prime of his career he was not trying to gain muscle at all but again you know what's the likelihood that you pack on this much size in your late 30s you've just been restricting the shit out of yourself for you know a decade and a half even two decades i don't know this guy started pretty young i don't know man like i would say the likelihood is pretty high is just on reasonable TRT. I don't think that's un, I don't think that's out of the question to say, given how much size he's packed on again, obviously, you know, he could be just in the gym now and actually taking it very seriously and adhering to a, um, you know, bodybuilder style routine. I just think a lot of people, you know, when they're retiring, when they're getting out of this, when they're shifting their goals, I wouldn't be surprised if the guy is, uh, you know, trying to optimize his entrepreneurship journey at this point. He's trying to have a life after football and he wants to, you know, be a high performing uh, entrepreneur. You know, a lot of guys getting closer to their 40s are going to be looking at TRT just as the mental aspect. In addition to that, the amount of muscle he packs on, obviously his goals have changed and he actually wants to look beefier. Like this is not an accident that he looks like this now. So I don't know, to me, I would go out on a limb and probably say just basic TRT. It's certainly plausible that it's natural. I just don't think he's been severely restricting himself for decades looking like this. And then randomly he's like, okay, now I can, you know, eat enough food now and actually lift weights properly. And I haven't been doing it this entire time. And I've just been like waiting to explode in the gym. Whereas prior, I've like never been even trying for progressive overload or trying to make gains in the gym at all. No, I think it's just a result of adding in a little bit of the sazul in my opinion. So again, not crazy by our standards in the fitness industry. A lot of people would be like, what the fuck? This is not even big. This guy's pinner. I was bigger than this after six months in the gym. You know, like there's always that, fucking, <laughs> there's always that fucking guy, but, um, you know, he's not old either by any means. I just think if I was to make an educated guess, I would say TRT. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Natty or not, um, obviously a, uh, you know, legend in the sport and, um, and it'll be interesting to see if he uh, gains any more super physiological mass in the near future. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram and moreplacemoredates, Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchy, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My TRT clinic, it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Gorilla Mind, eutropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas that design myself from scratch, my recommended lab tests and diagnostics, and anything else I'm associated with. It's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.